Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Wanted to do a quick video to talk about our gardens. Um, as you know, we live in South Dakota. We're still waiting on our last frost, so we have not planted anything in our garden. However, we did start seedlings pretty early and we have some seedlings in here. And I wanna show you what we have going on. All right, so first off, I wanted to show you our setup. We've got one of those folding tables here. And what we have done is set that up here over by our pellet stove. It's in the same room as our pellet stove. All right, so what we have is early girl tomatoes, looking really good. We have zucchini right there. We have our marigold flowers right there. I put them in the flower pots on um, a short fence that I have, if you've seen it in our video, and I do that because the deer will not eat them. We have yellow squash here, cucumbers here, there's another tomato, and then we have more early girl there planted at a different time, and then we have peppers and cucumbers right there, and more peppers there. These were all planted at various times. And then I have new strawberry plants there. And as you can see, what we have is we have a fan here and we turn the fan on every day for just a little bit and that's enough so that the seedlings are not leggy. This is the first year we have not had leggy seedlings. And that is because we have a whole bunch of these full spectrum, don't stare into them, full spectrum grow lights. We have more than these two, but these have been amazing. And then we have under here, a thermostat controlled heating pad. And it's real thin, but we, all of these came recommended from Living Traditions YouTube channel. And I'm looking for the thermostat. And he's got it off now, but when they were younger seedlings, we had that there. So that's our setup and we are just waiting to put the rest in the ground. I guess he had a couple of issues here. And then if you watched our last video where we turned our Hugelkulter bed uh, into a greenhouse and we put that cloth over for frost, we've also, have broccoli in there that was planted. As I was saying, we have the broccoli planted in the Hugelkulter bed already because that can take it. So, but that's all we've got for today, folks. Just wanted to show you an update on our gardens. We will be hoping to plant them soon. We're looking at the next few weeks. We'll be able to put them in the ground, but in the meanwhile, we want to set them up for success. Um, so that's why you don't see tons of plants because we did not have a good garden last year because last September we ended up having a snowstorm that was not typical that ended up taking all of our tomatoes so it didn't work out as great. So what we're going to do this year is we have added amendments to the soil and we're going to give it a shot, see how it goes. We're also growing asparagus if you've watched some of our videos before and we're gonna see how it goes. And then if it goes great this year, next year we will plant tons of stuff. Um, last year we had a very dry summer and it's a short growing season and we literally could have uh, watered the gardens twice a day and they still drain pretty quickly. So we're gonna stick with that. And tomorrow is the day that I leave to get Eleanor. So stay tuned. Very, very excited for that. Thanks for watching everybody. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. If you want to follow our journey, subscribe to our channel. We are growing and we're really, really excited. Thanks to everybody for supporting us. And don't forget when we hit 500, we will be doing a giveaway. We've been saying that from for a long time. If you look at the description below our video, we've been putting that down there. and We're getting closer and closer and we're inching along. So take care, everybody. Have a wonderful day.